As many of you know, the Des Moines Public Schools is in the process of searching for a replacement for departing superintendent, Dr. Eric Witherspoon. The process has involved continuous input from teachers, parents, community leaders, and staff to define criteria for the person who will lead the Des Moines schools into the future. For the past several weeks, the district's chosen search firm has been scouring the country for candidates who meet these criteria. A number of candidates were brought before the Des Moines School Board for interviews, and the board has narrowed down the field to a list of finalists. At a press conference Friday afternoon, board president Phil Rader announced the names of the finalists to the public. As you all know, more than three months ago, uh, with Dr. Witherspoon's announcement that he would be leaving here to lead the Evanston School District, uh, the Des Moines School Board began the process of looking for a new educational leader for this community. At that time, we developed a search plan, and thanks to a lot of hard work by the school board, we executed it. We took the steps we said we would, when we said we would take them, and the result's been a process that has led to some terrific candidates to be the next leader of public education in Iowa's capital city. This process has been successful thanks to the public's involvement from day one. Hundreds of people invo uh, involved provide us with input on the qualities this community deserves in our next superintendent through focus groups, public forums, and the school district's website. And we had an advisory committee involved of 21 people representing educational and community stakeholders of this entire community that focused the input into a set of criteria that provided, uh, provided and drove our search for a new superintendent. And I want to thank the members that served on that committee as well as John Erickson, the former provost at Drake University, uh, for heading up that process. As you know, over the past several days, the school board interviewed five candidates who best meet those criteria and had the strongest qualifications and experience to be our next superintendent. We spoke to candidates who worked and lived in three different time zones, who helped lead public school systems, major public school systems throughout the nation. They were all individuals that any school district anywhere would be proud to have before them. Based on those interviews, the qualifications of the candidates, and the input of the school board, I'm inviting three individuals to be in Des Moines next week for final interviews for this position. And in the order they're going to be interviewed next week, and in a moment I think Clark will have some additional information to hand out on them, our finalists are Dr. Nancy Sebring. Dr. Sebring is the Deputy Superintendent of the Douglas County School District, the fourth largest school district in the state of Colorado with more than 48,000 students. In her current position, she oversees many of the key areas of both the operations and the education for this district. She's also been a teacher, a curriculum director, a human resources coordinator, and a principal for school districts in both Iowa and Colorado. She received her bachelor's degree from Iowa State and her master's, specialist, and doctorate degrees from Drake University. Our second finalist is Linda Lane. Linda is the deputy superintendent of the Des Moines Public Schools, a position that she's held for the past three years. She's been an important part of this district for more than 30 years as a teacher, human resource administrator and our chief operating officer. Linda is a native of Des Moines and a graduate of North High School. She received her bachelor's degree from the University of Iowa, a master's degree from Drake University, and will soon be receiving her doctorate also from Drake. Our third and final finalist is Dr. Chris Richardson. Dr. Richardson is currently the superintendent of Northfield Public Schools in Minnesota, where he's been the past two years. Prior to that, he spent seven years as a superintendent of the Osseo Area Public Schools, a 22,000 student district in the suburban Twin Cities. He has 25 years of experience as a superintendent in <laughs> Iowa, Nebraska, and Minnesota. Chris is also a native of Des Moines and a graduate of Roosevelt High School. He received his bachelor's, master's, and educational specialist degrees from Iowa State and a PhD from the University of Iowa. You may have noticed a common factor. They're all Iowans. They were born here, they were educated here, they want to be here. Each of them not only brings a high level of professional qualifications, but a strong personal commitment to the city and to the state. I'm very pleased that these individuals have all agreed to be considered fully by the Des Moines School Board. They'll each spend a day with us next week, Dr. Sebring on Monday, May 22nd, Linda Lane on Tuesday, May 23rd, and Dr. Richardson on Wednesday, May 24th. Each of those evenings, there will be a public reception for them at the Iowa Hall of Pride from 5.30 to 7, and at 8 p.m., the school board will conduct our final public interview, which will be aired on our own channel, Channel 12. 
They will also be visiting schools, meeting with staff, and getting reacquainted with Des Moines when they're here next week. I can honestly say that I am more confident and more optimistic about the future of Des Moines public schools today than I was on, Wednesday, on Monday. After meeting and listening to each of them, I know the leadership of our public schools will be in very good hands. I'm looking forward to the entire community having that same opportunity and that same experience next week. The public will get a chance to meet the finalists at receptions held at Hy-Vee Hall beginning Monday, May 22nd. For more information, visit the district's website at www.dmps.k12.ia.us. For Channel 12, I'm Caitlin Busby.